Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. Today we're going to talk about uh, functions and some arithmetic operators in um, SQL. So we got a student's table here and we got all the uh, birth dates of each student on the on the last column. And what I want to do now is basically display how old each person is. So let's say I want to select the last name, first name, and birth date of each student. So let's just run that first. So I got the last name, first name, and the birth date of each student. Okay, so let's now go back. Okay, now instead of displaying their birth date, what I want to do is get their age. So how I would do that is I would use the date function. So date bracket. Now, actually, let's just put it all in capitals. So we know that it's a system function. It's a system function. So what this function does is it calculates today's date. And then if I minus the birth date from it, what's going to happen is it'll obviously give me how many days uh, it's been since they were born. So if I run this now, you can say you can see that it gives me how many days they have been uh, alive, which is uh, about five thousand, six thousand, and so on. So that's how many days it's been since they were born, which was in the year two thousand. So that's not very useful to me because um, in real life we don't really talk about how many days it's been since you were born, correct? Or am I imagining things? So rather than just um, doing date bracket bracket minus, so minus is an arithmetic, arithmetic operator, right? So now I'm going to use another arithmetic operator, which is divide. So I'm going to get all of this. So that will give me how many days, put it in brackets, and then I'm going to go divided by 365. Alright, guess why I'm doing that? Because there are 365 days in a year. So if I run that, ooh, what's all this stuff? Doesn't matter. If you make it a bit wider, it shows you how many years <clears throat> it's been. Alright, how old they are. Uh, in the number of years except there is now one problem the number that we got is a very long decimal number and what we want to do now is turn it into an integer which means we're going to round it down to a whole number so to do that we're going to put all this in brackets and we're going to put integer at the front int and if we run this now it gets their age um, in a whole number. So the last thing I want to do is change a column name to as age. So if I run this, the top now says age and it's been calculated. So yeah, that's a pretty cool query. Um, let's save that. So let's go to SQL view. Let's save this query. And let's make a copy of it. Make a copy of it and call it seven. So we can edit query number seven. And let's close the other ones. So in query number seven, what I want to do now is I want to select the oldest person. Okay, so I'm going to go select last name first name uh, and then I'm going to uh, let me think about this for a second so what I want to do is basically get rid of the last name and first name columns and in front of the int I'm now gonna put all of this inside the max function and what this does is it finds the maximum age in the whole table so if I run this now it'll give me 18 because that's how old the oldest person is 
and now to get the name of the person that has the maximum age what I want to do is I want to put all this aside and I'm gonna go select last name uh, first name and let's put this over here where uh, wait, as age uh, from students where the age which is this column here is e is in and now let's put all of this inside that bracket okay let's see if that works now it turns out that if you run this it says into parameter value and that is because basically this as age age, age is just the name of the column that is uh, showing up on the result of your query it's not actually a, a variable that stores all this information so you actually have to copy that and put it here and now it'll work so now it's gonna run it and list the students whose ages are the maximum so the older students the 18 year olds from this table so we got um, Sarah Mars and Phoebe Wong and if you have a look at those two girls Sarah Mars was born in 98 and Phoebe Wong is born in 97 and they're both um, 18 years old that's a bit weird actually I can see that because it's not May yet so Sarah is 18 but Phoebe's also 18 so it does make sense okay well I hope this helps you guys a little bit with all these uh, functions and arithmetical operators um, we might do more functions later but we have run out of time in this tutorial thanks for watching see you next time